What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have Deku 100%. Um, so it's uh, from the most recent episode. Well, by the time this goes up, it's probably like the episode before, but it's the episode where he goes 100% full cowl. So uh, I know I did a Deku recently, Deku recently, but I gotta do something since that episode came out. So it's close up on his face, I'm using a wide page. Um, so extreme close up, some of his top of his head is cut off, it's mostly just his face and Aries face back here as well. So we're gonna start in the middle with his eyes, as usual. So we're gonna start with his eyebrow. So you're going middle of your page, we're lower, a bit lower than halfway. So the halfway point on my page is about here. This is like bang in the middle and half is about here. So we're gonna come down just a bit more, tiny bit more, and we're gonna start with his eyebrow. So we're gonna go diagonal. And this ticks up, so, so he's frowning, so the eyebrow actually forms his top eyelid. Up this way. And then we're going to curve his back eyelid around. This is going to go around like so. And then it's going to go in this way, but we'll thicken it up a bit first. Just give it some extra weight. And remember guys, I suggest a pencil and hit pause if I go too fast, as usual. Because I probably will. So this then keeps going across and underneath his eye all the way over to like here. So it's gonna go like that. And you can thicken this up a little bit as well. Like so. And then he might have a line just coming down from his eyebrow just there. So his iris, so he's looking up, he's really angry, so his iris is kind of cut off by his eyebrow. So we're gonna curve this around just in here. So they're kind of long irises, they're not uh, perfect circles. And then his pupil in there, like so. Kind of a longer circle an ellipse or an oval. So his other eyebrow then over the other side. So we're just gonna go diagonal line that way. And then we're gonna bring this up all the way to here. So it's gonna go. Like so. And then his eyelid line just here curves out and around. So this curves under this way and back into here. And then we can just draw his, oh no, thicken, sorry, thicken up his um, eye line. Jump in the gun there. Thicken this up. A little bit. And then we can draw his iris. So a long circle, ellipse, and his pupil inside there as well. Like so. He's got a frown line just here. And then his nose is just defined by straight lines down like this, getting smaller as we go down. Like so. That's what we're after. It's the only thing you need to do. He's got his um, 
top lip pretty close, so it's just here. So he's gr so he's grimacing, biting his teeth. So the top lip starts like this, right underneath his eye there. See that? And then this is gonna come down this way, under his nose, and then it's gonna bend over the other side. So it's gonna curve up and around, and we're gonna stop under his eye again. See that the edges of the mouth line up with the eye, just there, his iris. And then this is gonna curve around, like so. And it's gonna come down the other side as well. And we're gonna join them together then. So they can be different on both sides. This one's more pointy, this one's more curvy. <coughs> Doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical. And this curves up this way. Then we do his teeth inside. So we do a line that way. And then a curved line that way. And this is dark inside here. Like so. You do the same over this side. And this way. Line here. Color that in. And then we do some teeth lines. Now they just have to be a suggestion of teeth. You don't have to actually draw the teeth. But that might be enough for some people, or you could even keep going. Go maybe one more, another one, maybe here. Like so. So you're just suggesting teeth, that's all you're doing. You're not actually drawing it. So his chin is covered by his, uh, that V mask thing he wears so just a small section of it like right here so we have an arrow pointing up just like here and this is going to come down this way down this way and it'll go back this way off my page if you'd more room you could finish it. it just comes down to a point down here it's like a diamond sort of thing so now coming up this side we can start his jaw just coming here and it's going to go right up by his mouth this way and when you get to about here you're going to change direction and you're going to go up his face this way Up to about there, beside his eyebrow. And we do pretty much the same thing over this side. Up this way. And then like on this side, when you get to about here, we're going to change direction and go up his face this way. Like so. Now we have his freckles on his face. So we have four of them. One, two, three. Four. And then one, two, three, and four. He has some stress lines just around his eye, so he's like he's been fighting, so he's got some stressed out lines just here, and some on his mouth as well. Just one there. And one coming up the side like so. Right, so his hairline. So he he's He's basically the same as always, but his just his hair is he's gone super saiyan basically. His hair is spiking up and he's got some like energy coming out of his eyes. So we can see his hairline. So this goes up this way, spiking up towards the center of his head. And you're right in the middle of his head, you're gonna have this V section just up here. So that's like the middle of his head. And we're gonna spike up around to there and then go back down the other side. So these 
spike up. Like so. It can be random. Into there, and then we go the other way. down the side of his head now into here so now his hair spikes go all up around off the top of my pitch so it goes starting from just beside his eye here we're gonna go From about here, we're gonna go out. We're gonna spike out and around. So we're gonna right. So it spikes out to here, spikes back in, and then we're gonna spike up towards the, around the, to the top of his head. So we're gonna go to there and then another one spiking out this way, back in, back up to here. A couple of small ones. Let me bring a line in this way. And then that way, a couple of spikes. Spiking in this way. One coming out this way real big. Back in. Back up. We'll go down. Another one here. Back in. Back up. Now we can see his ear just in here. So just behind these pieces of hair. Comes down like so. And then we have the ear line just inside, bones and ligaments, stuff like that in there. Yeah, so we'll do this on the other side. So we've got hair spikes sticking out here. So we've got like one there. Spiking back in, back in. Not a big one. Coming out that way. Back into there. Another one here. Back in like so. Big one gonna go up like this. Back into there. Another one spiking that way. Comes back in. Off my page there. And you might have a couple in behind here as well. Like so. But this is like this is mostly behind those um, energy lines that he has, so we won't draw in most of that. So the ones coming out of his eye, so the ear comes down like so into there, and then we can see some ear lines, bones, and ligaments and stuff just in here. Maybe another one like so, and then he has a couple of hair spikes in the center of his head. So like. Say one going that way, back down into there. Another one coming up this way, coming down into here. Another one here, back down, back up, coming back into there, another small one, big one, 
So just creating another layer of spikes just here. Going back into his head. And then there might be some extra hairlines coming this way. So there's like a light green section and a dark green section as well. So we're just sort of adding in some extra detail lines. Just following the shape of its hair. It is kind of like a Dragon Ball character, very similar. <laughs> and then we do a couple more over here. So one going this way. in here couple of hairlines hairline there hairline and maybe add some more just texture lines just here just to show that there's some more hair in behind here as well Yeah, but that's the the basic idea you can make it more or less detailed as you like that's his hair so now so we have the rest of the, his mask down here so we have a line coming from his ear coming down curving down all the way to here like so and then the other side coming down to there and we'll meet that silver box part, so it sticks out a little bit and then comes down to there and comes back in here, like so. This may have a bit of an edge to it, so you could go this way, up, and then down like so. And then these have another line that comes down right to the corner of this diamond and then they have lines coming down diagonal straight down diagonal straight down all the way down one there and one there and then he's a line of i think it's shadow just in here and then we have a line straight down the middle just here and then This line will come across here and here as well. They meet somewhere down here off the page. And then he's got those circles, those vent circles. One, two, three, four. And it's got another circle here, circle here. Like so. And then we're going to bring the other side like this down so right beside his ear up here this is going to curve down this way and it's going to meet that box section right across from his mouth so like here like so then this comes back that way. And the inside line is just here for that. Curves around. Like so, and this might have that edge like we did here. 
So it goes straight down. It's kind of like a lightning line this way. And then we do those boxes on this as well. So we got to do the curve line first. Like so. And then about three box lines. So one there. Two. Three. And then these will go straight down. Like so. And then we can do the that shadow line on this side. Just in here. It's either the color of his shirt or his shadow. I'm not sure. It's just an extra line in here. Okay. <clears throat> so. We have his shoulders. So we have a shoulder coming out here. And it meets Eri's fingers, right? So we're gonna gonna do tips of her fingers. One, two, another one here, three, and her little fingers up a bit higher, just here, right? So these are gonna come up, each one, this way. So, and then they're going to curve around the top. This one will come longer, curve around like so. We join this up here. This one curves around like so, and this one. And then those, if you could see some gaps, you could see the points of his, the point of his top of his shoulder in there as well. And then we just add some fingernails. If you just do a line across each one like that. And then you have the nails coming down in here. Like so. And then the rest of his shoulder is going to come down this way and the padding on his uniform that shoulder pad that he has curve line down here and then this curves in that way and this way and his other shoulder it has a ripped it has Mirio's uh, Lemillion's cape so just across from his ear right here so we're gonna go out like this there's a piece of hair sticking out of his ear, just here. And then his shoulder comes out. Like so, up, down. So these are all the folds of it. Goes off this way. Off down my page. It comes back in all ripped and tattered and torn all down here. Like so. And then we have some fold lines just coming this way. Another line just another rip line just here, so it's like torn here as well. It goes up this way. And a fold line just here. <clears throat> and some like scratch marks and stuff. Dirt and stuff that's been thrown around, you know. In the fight with overhaul. Right, so now we'll do airy and then those energy lines. So, Aerie's hair. So I guess we'll do just her hair first. So it comes out here. This will frame in her face. So this line, just wavy line, all the way down to his shoulder in there. And then from this, we could do the side of her face into her finger here. We can just see one eye and then her ear and our ear line in there. And then, so her iris, so we'll draw that. It's like a long circle just here. 
and she has her pupil inside. And then her big eyelashes. So she has top eyelid line curving around this way. Comes down like so and in under here. And of course we gotta thicken this up. So we're gonna add like thicker eyelash line just coming around this way. It's real thick, colored in dark. And then we can add some eyelashes coming off it. So like one there, one here, one here, and maybe one more. So four of them touching right next to her hair, like so. And then she might have a couple down here as well. So maybe like little small ones just here. One, two, three. Maybe a couple sticking off here as well. She's got a little stress line just here. And then her eyelid line just there. If you want, you can draw in some shines into her eye. Or you could save it for when you're coloring. A couple of shines in her eye like that. And then her eyebrow. So it's an upturned eyebrow because she's real worried. So curves that way and then this part is gray just in there and we can just see some more of Deku's ripped sort of collar sticking out here so like ripped coming this way and maybe a hair spike or two just here Her shoulders just in here. She's holding on for dear life. And then two lines like that in there. And then we have another hairline coming down this way. Like so. This is gonna go up around her head to there. And then some more coming down like this. Going off my page. So this is mostly just hair in here. Right, so the only thing that's left now is his energy lines that are coming out of his eye. So remember if you do if you could leave it like this, <clears throat> but if you're doing the energy lines, you've got to rub out any lines you go over because it's like bright inside. So let's go. or color over. So we're gonna go this way for this one. Off of this way. It gets real big right here at the end. So it's like a Wriggly start to line like so. So it goes all in here. And anything I have inside this line, I'm going to rub out. So I'll show you that now in a minute. So following this shape. So like sharp angles. So, and then I get rid of anything that's inside here that isn't part of that energy line. So if you're using a pencil, you can rub it out. But if not, you could try color over. All right, so basically you can do this over here as well. So coming out from this eye, 
we're gonna go I go up I don't want to go over Aries face so I'm gonna start this way and go down into there so then I'll come out this way This way, and then we'll keep this bottom part going down here. So then, all in here is going to be that energy. So, there you have it how to draw. Deku, 100% full cowl. Uh, awesome episode. Uh, thanks for watching. Oh, sorry. Wait, I didn't get rid of that line. God damn it. <laughs> okay, now thanks for watching. So this is all energy here. So it'll be like bright bluey green coming out of his eyes. All up there. So that's him. Cool episode. Uh, Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Smash like.